Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A30. Uh, we're going to be checking out, you know, some of the features about this device, some of the updates as well, some of the things that I do like about it. Um, this is a really good budget device. It, it's, um, it's pretty affordable in the budget price point. So you pretty much get a lot of things inside of the package. So I just kind of wanted to show you what you get. The Infinity U display, dual camera, and 4,000 milliamp hour battery, headphones, charging brick, and wall adapter. Well, not wall adapter, but the Type-C cord as well. So I like the fact that they put the headphones in there and the fact that the screen is really nice to look at. It's an AMOLED display. But um, this device did get a recent update, so I kind of want to cover um, what that entails on this device as well. So we have the option for 64 gigabytes of internal storage, four gigabytes of RAM, coupled along with it as well as the Infinity U display, which is really nice to look at. Um, we'll get into that in a little bit more detail, but this thing does have a fingerprint sensor on the back. Um, really, it flows really smooth. To be completely 100% honest with you, um, it's a really good mid-ranger. It has an Exynos 7904 um, processing chip. It's got 165 grams of weight, so it's actually a lightweight device, very thin um, to hold. This is a really thin device to hold. If you throw a case on it, it'll add some bulk and stuff like that. But um, the material that they used on the back of this is probably like the best material that they um, could have used. It's really, it's really scratch resistant and also fingerprint retarded. So it doesn't gather any fingerprints on the back of here as well. Um, I really like the way that the Samsung is designing the back of their devices. This is running Android 10 at this current moment. So let's just go into the software. But as you can see, there's like an option right here for an update, which is kind of cool. So if we go into security on this guy, you can see that it's running the February 1st, 2021 with the April 1st uh, security patch on here as well. This guy has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery on it. Um, it's got a polycarbonate material on the back, 19 by 5, 9 aspect ratio, super AMOLED display, 1080 by 2340, and for the PPI, it's 403 as well. So Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, um, just a really solid device. Let me put the brightness all the way up so you can see what I'm talking about. That The blacks on here look really good, and so do, um, you know what I mean, like... Um, just the overall feel in the hand is good. It's a 6.4 inch display, um, curved on the back, 2.5D curved glass on the back with the Gorilla Glass 3 on the front, plastic um, material um, on the back, but it just feels really nice. It's actually cold to the touch right now. Uh, I guess because I had the window open or something like that, but there's no metal on here, so just keep that in mind. Five megapixel on the back for portrait and a, a, five, a, a 16 megapixel for your main camera. So that's pretty solid. We also do get a 16 megapixel on the front, um, which is pretty solid as well. So I kind of I kind of like how they did that. The blacks on here are really deep. So um, that's really cool. But um, I, I just like this device because it does have, uh, you know what I mean, like a, a lot of features to it. I did add this compass app to it, which is kind of cool. Um, we also do have, uh, you know, I, I, I like how Android lets you download different apps on here as well. But what I really wanted to talk about and cover right now was the software update that we're getting on here. Um, right here it says that we do have the May 18, 2021 download and install now update. So it's actually um, paused so I'm going to continue that, but it says that the one, the one UI 3.1 is on here with Android 11. And um, I just got an update on my A02S um, the other day. So I wanted to show you guys the Android on, update on here as well. I do believe we do get the, um, with the, the, whatchamacallit, where you get that side, um, 
bar thing where you can do multitasking in it. I think we get that, I'm not sure. But yeah, we definitely get that with this one because we got it with the other one. So we, we just get a ton of features on here, productivity, files, easy media controls, device controls, things of that nature, call chats, uh, advanced features, home screen features, um, better uh, customization as far as the dynamic lock screen and things of that nature. The always on display adjusting is gonna be easier. Um, a refresh, animations will be improved as well. Interface response means that the user is second to none on any device and better interface response. So they, 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 they um, put a better interface response time um, on here. I really like how they did that because that just means that whenever you're gonna be using um, something on here, social media, it, it, it's, it feels super snappy right now. So I'm not sure like, you know, how, you know what I'm saying, how they did that, how, how they made it even better, but that's pretty sick. Now, as far as the graphics, we are getting a really nice um, performance on here. We do get high graphics that is on HD as well. So with that AMOLED panel, you will be able to, you know, game pretty well um, and things of that nature. So let me see, I'm getting a bad Wi-Fi connection. So I'm about to disconnect, but I just wanted to show you that you do get that, um, let me see, how do I get out of here? There we go. But definitely a really nice performance, high graphics and um, HD quality on those graphics as well. Really nice um, performance before we do the update. So I just wanted to show you that the volume controls are gonna be at the top, but they're gonna move down to the side afterward. We're also gonna get, you know, a nice, nicer flow to this. But I went ahead and installed the, I'm gonna go ahead and install the uh, software. Well, there's a lot of noise in the background. I hope you guys don't hear that, but definitely gonna install the update right now. And um, it says right here that we do get that. So I'm just gonna go through everything for one last time right here. We even get when you when you um, take pictures, it has better autofocus and um, things of that nature. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see that stronger privacy, things like that. So let's go ahead, hit that install button. It's actually saying that the Android system update is booting back up. Please wait. So once that boots back up, I'm going to go ahead and show you. So let me just pause the video right now because it's it's still um, going to it's going to turn off the screen right now. So it does say preparing a software update right here. 20%, 22%, 24, 20, 28%. 31. All right, so it's moving at a, a rapid pace. I'm gonna go ahead, pause the video when it's done. All right, guys, so now it's installing the update, 22%, 25%. Um, okay, it's still loading right now. All right, let me just pause it one more time. All right, guys, so this device just booted back up. Let me go ahead, enter um, my pattern because it's gonna it won't let me do my pin right now or my facial recognition after reset and then go let's go ahead and um take a look at this device it's going to be actually preparing the update as we speak so the device may slow down a little bit but let me just show you the volume rocker is now on the side like i said it would be instead of the top so oh wow this device is kind of light so it just feels really light in your hand but that's a good thing and then you get your, your volume controls right here for all your different toggles. So I think that's something that's pretty cool right there, as you can see. And um, another thing that I like about this device is the price. It's really affordable right now. Um, it has a wide angle camera as well as a gyroscope on this guy. So you could game really well on here. Medium, medium graph, HD graphics and high frame rates on PUBG mobile, which is really crazy. Let's go into software and let's go into about phone and let's go into um, software information. And you can see we're on Android 3. Point, we're on Android 11 with April 1st and 3.1 UM, the one UI version. So I think that's really cool. Also April 1st for the security patch level as well, um, which is crazy. So. I definitely think that's something that's cool, but as you can see, this device does has a nice flow to it. 
we get those updated volume controls we get the updated animations um also this shade is updated as well with nearby share now as you can see right there and quick share it did actually update that too that's um the, the nearby share is actually Google and then the quick share is the Samsung one where you can share files so there's like two different options for that you do get secure folder in here as well and then it lets you now you can add uh, call text on other devices which is cool you'd have to like drag that down and then you also do get music share on here which is crazy and the notification panel so let's go ahead and save that you also do get media and um you could change devices right here from the media devices and they added the media as well so if you're listening to spotify or let me show you what it looks like okay so it says the software update has been finished which is cool uh, only this time so right here you can control your spotify music and music share and smart view while you're in media so you can see you can share music through this this option right here it says play with music share you can play music on a friend's bluetooth speaker or headphones make sure your friend's phone or tablet has music share turned on and then you're allowed to connect to it so that's pretty crazy i really like how they did that it's like intuitive as well so it just kind of just adds to the whole experience let's turn the brightness all the way back up and you know this device will have the gaming mode well the game launcher as well you get the, the uh, compass on here accelerometer light sensor proximity sensor fingerprint sensor on the back and uh also really zippy processing speeds with the uh exynos processing chip on here and like I said, the cameras are really good. You get the wide angle mode as well. So they updated the picture or focus on this guy. So I kind of wanted to show you the autofocus now. Let me just move around. Yeah, that's really good because I'm moving and it's still focused in. Let me take the picture right here. I'm gonna take the picture right here. And then let's see how that came out because I was moving the camera on purpose. To see how that came out and it still comes out really good this one was moving you can see that, that that one was moving but the second one that i took let me delete this one actually captured a really good photo so this, you can see this phone captures really good photos um and everything like that let's take another photo right here this time we're gonna do a portrait It says find a face. Let's see if it recognizes. It doesn't actually recognize the action figure as a face because it knows that that's way too small to be a face. But let me see. Let me go back into there. And surprisingly, a good good detail. I mean, there is some pretty decent light right now because I have the camp the light over top of the figurines but really good performance so, so far on android 11 i do like how the performance is on this guy um let me know what features that is your favorite from the android 11 update um a lot of people were saying that they didn't like it so i kind of want to know what you didn't like or a lot of people said that they loved it as well so that's why but i got like one or two people saying that they didn't like it so i'm kind of curious to know what you didn't like but, um, you know, you can see there is a bit of lag right there trying to get out of the Facebook app, but then it, it's snappy again. So it's like super weird with this device. Sometimes it's really quick. It's super quick right now. You can get your drop down right there by swiping down. Um, it says right here that we have ad guard connected as well for, prote for protection. And just a really solid device. So I definitely like how they put all the software updates on this device as well. We get the five gigahertz Wi-Fi on this device as well. Type-C for charging, headphone jack. Um, we don't get NFC on this, so just keep that in mind. But we do get voice over LTE as well with the 4,000 milliamp hour battery. Android 11, um, One UI 3.1 as well. But let me know what you guys think down below about the Samsung Galaxy A30 with the Android 11. And I'm going to get right back with you, but make sure you show your support and appreciation by hitting the like button. Um, and I'm, I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'll get right back with you.